Back at Hangfan Liu, I really like the design of this main metro part. You can see the planes here. Uh, there's even an exit for the airport runway, so you can see the planes just go by. Usually, even just like close to the runway is all like restricted area with super high barbed wire fences because you don't want random people just getting even close to it. Who knows what people will do to the system. So, oh, I don't think I should have entered those gates because the same APM is supposed to be free, I think. Did I? Yeah, let's, let's pretend we didn't enter these ticket barriers. And instead, we will go around. And I think there's a passageway to the same APM without having to pay. Right? Or does this part only go to the planes? Oh no. You can totally get to it. Okay. So I think I came from here earlier. I came up this this passage there and I was talking about the immigration stuff. Is it here? This is just the light rail. Oh, this goes to the resort too. Airport North, LRT Depot, and the resort. Okay, not this way. <laughs> I was a little bit confused by the signage. Wait, does this lift go down? I wonder. Oh, yeah. There's just no sign for it. Okay, no worries. At least we found where to go. Let me clear my effects as well. Alright, so... May Lum Island. Is that where I want to go? Yeah, this is the end of the line anyway. So we go to May Chong Island, Misashima. Oh, this is the Railway Vision MPL 85 train. Oh, I actually want to go to the car in front so we can see out the front better. These are also automated trains. Yeah, recently I've just been fascinated by automated train systems. Maybe since I've been to Vancouver and they had that, and it's really convenient and frequent and fast. Well, I wouldn't say super fast, but it's much better than what we have in Seattle. Can't even consider that a metro. Anyway, <laughs> I talk about it too much because I am frustrated at Sound Transit, which is the company managing the light rail in Seattle. Anyway, yeah, let's keep enjoying these nice train systems on Minecraft while we have them. Okay, this is Meichung Island, and I think there's one more station, and then we'll be at Misashima. Oh, I just noticed this APM is right hand running. Hmm, I wonder why Tea Powder designed it like this. Or no, was it Navi? I think Navi made this. I don't know why it's right hand running. Okay, so here, Misashima, we can interchange. Was there an announcement? Yeah, Allgate and Resort Line. That's where we're going. It's a lift only exit as well. This is a pretty cool place to do some train spotting too. It's like right inside a cave with ores on the walls, but it's also a train system. So wild is probably the exit. We want to go to the concourse. Oh, I remember this part. I visited this quite a few times when it was first open. Oh, seven minutes to Altgate. I should have thought of that before I came here. Are there any alternate routes I can take? Let's see. So I could take the marble line, but I don't think there's anything to do at Loyalty Hills. I could go on the marble line up to Hereford Delta and then take this line all the way back up. Will that take longer though? I feel like that would. So if I take this one in about a minute and we'll end up 
at Saint Devota, maybe this three minute one. And then this one to Excalibur. I don't think I'll make this departure, honestly. So probably six minutes. Yeah, so that wouldn't be worth it. I might as well just wait here for seven minutes. Would I make this one? I don't think I would. If the train arrives at all gate in eight minutes. Oh, backroom station. Is that a reference? I don't know. Maybe I should have gone to Hangfan Liu and taken the Kalis Express, but I don't want to backtrack because I am trying to check out the Eifert Express Phase 2. So I don't want to backtrack and then keep going down that way because I want to check out the central line as well. I don't remember if I've seen it before. So I guess I'll just wait. And I know I'm not supposed to like hang out in the platform area. Yeah, I'm not supposed to stand here because the trains rush through really quickly. So I'm not supposed to hang out on the platforms for my safety. And it's really dark in here as well. So I know this train is going back to the resort. But this whole line is single tracked and there's only one train. So I might as well just get on the train. And just wait here instead of waiting at the station that I'll miss my train. Oh, actually, I want to see what's in the waiting room. <laughs> HDMI 1. Look. Oh, and the train just left. No worries. Yeah, I'll wait four minutes. I would have gotten back on the same train anyway, so it's okay. Alright. The train is coming soon, according to this display. And I wasn't even in the waiting area, I was just in this... <laughs> lobby area. What is this block? Tube station block concrete. Yeah. Makes it look very industrial-like. Alright. Here is a train. This is actually an M train retextured as an S stock. So S trains, S stock trains are actually planned in the mod. So that's the next train that I'm going to make after the BR423. So you can be excited for that. Although the BR423 still has some improvements to be done. So I'm still working on that slowly. As well as the huge change that I'm making to the back end of the mod. So, lots of stuff to do, not enough time. That's always how it goes. So, I would really appreciate it if you all considered supporting me on Patreon. Link for that is in the description. That will help me out a lot. And, wow. I've never really noticed this beautiful glass tunnel before. I think it was recently redone. I don't remember these prismarine lights up here. But it looks good. The effect is really good when we like go through it really quickly on a train. I don't know, I just like that smooth curve. It's very aesthetically pleasing. The next station should be Altgate, I think. And then that's where we'll change the other line to Excalibur Temple. And then get on the central line to Epping. Are we almost there? Is this the station? Uh, yes, it is. The next station this is line has custom here. announcements as well. Oh, did we just miss it? Please don't tell me we just missed it. Yep. And the next train is in two minutes. Great. Yeah, usually what happens at these interchanges is that the departures never line up. Especially in real life. Departures just don't end up lining up for some reason. Or maybe if they do, we don't notice it. And if they don't, we really notice it. That's how the human brain kind of works, right? <laughs> we only notice it when the interchanges don't line up. But when it does line up, we just take it for granted. Oh, look. This has the lines on the ground as well. To tell you where to get this yellow one. 
the Hoku Hoku line and where to get the green one which is the Altgator Resort. Good design. I should implement these kind of things in... Oh, how did someone suffocate in the wall? I didn't know you could die <laughs> as a visitor. Okay, I was gonna say I should implement more of these stripes on the ground kind of thing in my stations as well, especially in complex interchanges like Yanjiang Mineshaft. I feel like that station would really benefit from these lines on the ground. And I think this wall right here, I think I've talked about it in one of the older episodes when I first checked out the station, is supposed to be a reference to the actual Aldgate station in London, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but we have the district, the Hammersmith and City, uh, what's that? Victoria? Is that the Victoria line? Does that go to Aldgate? I don't know. Not the, it's not the Piccadilly, that's the dark blue. I don't know. And then the circle line and the metropolitan. Okay, how much longer? Oh, train coming soon. So good thing I'm not racing to sign heights right now or else I'll be losing. Because <laughs> I've taken such a long time waiting for trains. And now it's even harder because I temporarily disabled route finding on the system map. <laughs> I didn't realize how useful that was till it was gone. Because earlier I was like, oh, I wanted to search up another route since I don't want to wait seven minutes. But yeah, it's not available, so I have to kind of figure it out myself. But it's okay, we're on the train now. And we'll head to Excalibur Temple. I'll see you then. All right, we're pulling in into Ex we're pulling into Excalibur Temple. I forgot if I've been here before. This looks kind of familiar, but I feel like I've not been here. I don't know why. It's so weird. Okay, so wow, the station has a lot to take in. What is this block right here? Glazed terracotta or something? Yeah, yellow glazed terracotta and then gold iron diamond lapis. And more glazed terracotta patterns. Wow, okay. All right. This high ceiling is also pretty interesting. Where is the exit? That's the exit right there. Where we can change to the central line to Epping. Oh, we can do the, take the overground here as well. But probably not gonna do that right now. Maybe we'll take a peek. Oh, that's the lift, that's the stairs, that's only the central line, not the overground. Or maybe they're all, oh yeah, they're separate. Did I go on the right platform? There aren't really many maps here that I can see. And is this a turn back? Oh, or is this not complete? <laughs> is that what it is? Not completed. What about if we exited the station? Let's exit. $15. That's an expensive train ride. Whether in Hong Kong dollars or US dollars, that's kind of expensive. Well, I don't know if there are trains running on the central line, actually. And people can just enter the station by jumping in through the sand like that and not have to pay. Yeah, I guess not. No trains here right now. Oh, that's an overground train, right? It's modified from an E44, but it also has a custom livery. Brentwood. I'm actually kind of lost, like, where could I go? I don't think I would want to go here, right? 
Oh, this is an interesting gangway. Oh, look! I could go to Brentwood and Epping, even if the central line's not running. No, I missed the train! Are you serious? I... okay, I could have totally taken this train, so I'm gonna follow it by flying. <laughs> okay, we're uh, totally on the train! Yay! What is this line on the side here? Oh, this train is fast. So the only way I can catch up to it is spectator mode, flying, and scrolling up on the mouse wheel so it goes faster. And I have to sprint as well. Sprinting plus spectator mode, scrolling, mouse scrolling up. That's an MLR TV installed here. This is a this is a really well done train. The SP1900 front panel. It has like elements from all different trains I can recognize. Is this Brentwood? And then this goes to Excalibur Temple. It says terminating here though. How am I supposed to get to Epic? On this platform here? Did that train go to Epping? I don't know, I can't tell. Well... So, trains for Eastwich, Clamera, and Airport. So, theoretically if I got off that train, I would... walk across... To this platform. Oh, nice. The train to Epping is coming. Maybe it's the same train, is it? But like, there'll be a train magically appearing here to Epping. I just noticed this is a really long platform. Oh, it's a different train. Wow, this is a 377. Textured as overground train. Nice work. I'm really impressed by all the custom content people have put in. Like, I only go on the server about like once a week or less just to record, and every time there's so many new things that I, I'm impressed about. Oh, I still need to fix this <laughs> this front part of the 377 because there's a there's a seat hidden in between these two panels, and I guess people don't like that. I thought since it's hidden, no one would really care, but. <laughs> People have told me about it, so I guess I would fix that up. Alright, we're heading to Epping, and we can Next check out the Epping. Eifert Express Phase 2, for the and then line play and a couple rounds of Race to Sign Heights. I'm excited for that. I know we've been touring, we've been touring for a long time in this episode, but since this is like a pseudo finale kind of thing, so, I kind of want to check out more of the server, especially since there are so many new lines. And are the chunks just not loading? Okay. Ooh, okay, this section is work in progress, I suppose. <laughs> Why did Tea Powder tell me to check this out? No, but this is still really nice. Okay, that's the Callus Express, I'm guessing. Cross-platform interchange with the overground. Nice. Wow, I've never been to Epping before and I'm already very impressed. I feel like I say that everywhere and I say that every episode, but really, I feel like we have a really strong team of builders. And wow, look at that. Where does this go actually? Gecko Plaza. Okay, that's not the Callus Express then. Maybe that other train right there is the... Callus Express. Let me check again. Nope, that's the train I need to be on. The Callus Express doesn't come to Epping. So I wonder when this train is gonna leave, if I have time to check out the station. I do want to check out the station before I get on that train, so that's okay if it leaves. Because I haven't been here before. Trains for Tempest. And then trains for Shenfield. 
that one is trains for Brentwood, right? Temple East, which yeah. All right. Gecko Plaza. What is here? Clockwise via Woodford. That's a central line, and that's you can also get to this phase two from that side as well. Okay, that goes to Brentwood. All right, so. Wait, is that another platform for the same line as well? Oh, this is the Callus Express. Wait, I'm confused. No. I don't know. I'm totally confused now. I thought... Yeah, this train goes to... This, this is also the same line... This is also phase two, but it's not the Callus Express. Okay, that's the central line. <laughs> okay, I don't know that anymore. Maybe that sign for the Callus Express was not accurate, or it's just not complete or something. I'm entering the first class section, actually. Beep. There's no first class processor, so they probably can't find me for riding in first class. All right, that's the normal class. This is like an SP-1900 train with railway vision textures. <laughs> yeah, we've got the same, same thing as before as well, so really creative but that train why does it say oh so that tr platform also has another train okay but i think this train might depart first is that true i just don't know how long the dwell times are on here let's check real quick three minutes three minutes okay so this train would depart first all right let's take a seat Please stand class. behind the yellow line as the train is about to leave. If you don't know already, you can go to the mod settings of this mod. And where is it? Use left shift to toggle sitting inside vehicles. So I have that turned on. So you can press shift to sit and then to unsit. See how I'm mounted at a different height when I press it? So it looks a bit... Oh, what happened? Oh, my sticky keys. Look, I do not want to turn on sticky keys. The next station is Diamond Island. Yeah, pro tip. If you want to use that function, you should turn off your sticky keys so that that message doesn't bother you. By the way, if you haven't noticed, this train also has the dynamic system map right here. And the line is pink instead of blue like the Callus Express. So when the train is moving between stations, it shows this text and it shows the map. But when the doors are open, it shows this instead. So that's another cool little feature. This looks like a cross-platform interchange with this other line. Not in serv- or this is a terminating platform. Wow. What is that? A bubble column. That's really cool. Inside the station. Ooh! Is that an R-179 or is that a Japanese train? Kind of want to go check it out. Okay, it's the Clanmara Express. I want to check out Backroom Station, but I don't think we have time today. So it goes through Mesa Forest, Backrooms, St. Devota, and then the Fairview Dock Station. I have also yet to check out the Fairview area, because I know Epic Puppy has been the one working on the Fairview area. And I know that there is some really cool stuff there too. But today, the goal is to check out the plane ride 
and then also this Epping area. So I just saw the dynamic route map as well. The next station is Tempest and we can change to some of the light rail routes here. I think this connects all the way to LRT Depot, right? Does it? Callus Express here, Qingli Light Rail. Let me take a look at the map again. Or after we pass this station. Wow, another cross-platform interchange, nice. Now jump out real quick. Nice. I wish I had more time to explore each of these stations in detail. But remember, anyone can join the server if you want to check out these stations for yourself. You can always join as a visitor. Just make sure you have a real Minecraft account. Please don't try to join with a crack launcher that will not go well. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to take a look at the system map to see what other lines come through here. Wow, look how many people are online right now. Anyway, so we just passed... Oh, cable car. We just passed Tempest, which has the Calix Express light rail and the ex Express that we're on right now. Where does this cable car go? Oh, I've been on this cable car, or like, I've seen it when it was under construction. Oh, Sand Farm is here too. So that's the Qingli light rail that goes to Airport North. And then from Airport North, you can take the light rail down to the resort, which has other lines going to the LRT Depot. Let's, let's see, just, just the whole light rail network. Wow, it's really impressive actually. I didn't realize there were so many stations on the network. Because when we first started the server, there's only this stuff at Red Leaves, owned by Jasmine. And then there is this stuff at Callus. This is all there was basically, and then it just started crazy, crazily expanding everywhere to the resort, to the airport, now to Diamond North, and even to Tempest. So. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so after Tempest is Tongshu Chao, Winter Snow Island. Oh, we're here already. Wow, this is a really pretty station. Look at that intricate ceiling design. With the iron trap doors, some ceiling. This reminds me of an Israel Line station. I think it's. That's what it was designed after, I bet. Wow, I wish I could spend more time here. And even the terrain is, at least there is an attempt made to blend the terrain with the station. That's another thing too, when we're trying to select who to become builders on this server, is how much effort are you willing to spend to clean up some world edits? Because there's been some other people in the past when they built stations, they just cut out a big hole and they don't clean up the area after themselves. And it just makes makes the ride more enjoyable if you clean it up a little bit, smoothen out the terrain, naturalize it a little, put some flowers to blend in with the rest of the terrain. It's just those small things that just make the train rides more enjoyable. Look, Bond Line and Sightseeing Express. That's at Ostania. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm enjoying my first class ride as well. These are really comfy seats. Alright, let's see what we have here. Wow! Oh, this is... I know what this is. Bonus points if you can recognize what this real life station is supposed to be. Oh, I really want to come back and take a look at this station in detail. Wow, look at that. Why is that? I just noticed. Look at this train. This gray patch right here. You see the gray patch? 
I think it's just leftover textures from the Railway Vision skin for the SP-1900. Okay, I definitely need to come back to the station. Okay, I'm gonna put a pin in that. I think the next station is the Terminus. Yeah, the next one is Gecko Plaza. Whoa! When I passed through that area, I just suddenly got this achievement. Adventuring time. Discover every biome. Wow, have I really? <laughs> that was really unexpected as well. I know I've been on this server for quite a while, and I know there are lots of custom biomes added by Terralith, but I didn't realize that I literally visited every biome now. That's pretty cool. Are we there soon? Alright. The train is slowing down. I wonder if we'll see that other MLR train with the yellow head texture. I wonder if we'll see that here. Oh! Lift doors for the automatic platform gates. Oh, I just noticed. Okay, so this side is terminating. And the top of the platform screen doors was manually removed using World Edit. North side of this platform reserved for future connections to the Azalea CL. Nice. Okay. Which way is north, actually? I think this way is north. No, that's east. North. Okay. I just noticed that these maps right here are projected using slideshow. That's why they look different. The font is a little different and they have these interchange like ovals which are used on the MTR. The mod used to use these but then if there's too many lines interchanging it will just overflow the frame and it'll look weird. So I just didn't use that in the mod. Alright. North side, yeah. So I'm guessing what they mean... Oh, we got the E44. Is this part is gonna connect to Azalea CL. Wow, it's gonna come all the way here. That's crazy. First class again with these same comfy seats. Oh, even the normal section. Oh, these have the sideways seats. And then here has the MLR kind of seats. And then this is the first class. Cool. Alright, so I'm just going back one stop to Ostania. And then I'm gonna check out the station and then we can play Race to Sign Heights. Sounds good. This is a long video, I just realized. But there's a lot to cover and I'm really excited. Maybe I'll split this into two. Maybe not, maybe not. I'll just make one long one. Or maybe I split it in half, maybe. Well, by the time that this video has been completely edited, you would know the answer. Okay. Alright, here we are. There's an SP-1900 train on the other side. But this side, we have an MLR. Okay. Does anyone know what the station is modeled after now? <laughs> I don't think this side... Oh. Wait. What's running here? Oh, this line. The bond line on the side scene. Please stand back from the train doors. Oh, okay. So these are all work in progress, so that's why it's all fenced up. It would be cool if they actually use Disney line tr Resort line trains here. That would really complete the look of it. <laughs> so that's probably like a huge clue to what this station is supposed to be. So if my calculations are correct, there should be toilets here. Nope, no toilets here. 
Okay, I guess they didn't copy it that closely. But still, I'm really impressed by how this looks. Yeah, this is just a passage to the other side. But the architecture, wow, look at that. They use the station glass fences to make that effect. And there's an exit here, exit A. And on these bridges, you can also watch the trains. I wonder what's in the middle. So normally this would be Airport Express, but I wonder what trains are running down the middle right now. Or are they just like for show at the moment? Yeah, can't tell. All right, so this side is back to Gekko, ooh, back to Gekko Plaza, and then we have an exit as well. To Tongtao Village. Wow, twenty four dollars. I did go a really long distance though, so. I can justify that in Hong Kong dollars, <laughs> not U.S. dollars. That would be crazy. All right. Wow. Look at that. You know, I'm going to totally put a thumbnail of this right here. This is like actually a masterpiece. I'm going to wait for this train. Hmm, or should I take a thumbnail from the other side? Alright, I got my thumbnail. You're gonna see it when the video is released. Okay. So who's ready for some race to sign heights? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna head back and then I'll meet you at spawn. Alright, back here. Let's follow the lines. The yellow goes to the lobby. Oh. Thank you for traveling on the Cyanex Andy is here already. Lock start. Okay. Yeah, everything looks the same as before. So let's just wait for more people to join. All right, a few more people are in the lobby and looks like we're ready to start. How do you unlock start? All right, let's go, let's go. Where am I, where am I? I don't think I'm supposed to be using the dashboard. So let's use square map instead. Oh look, I spawned really close to Andy. Oh, and this is lagging quite a bit. So how far am I from spawn? I need to get, oh. I need to get down that way. Near station is extreme cold village or Snow Plateau Stronghold. Come on, map. Where's this? Extreme, no, not ex... Stream Cold Village or Snow Plateau Stronghold. So that's the Shinx line, so I think I would want to go to that one. So southeast, directly southeast. Okay. East, south, east. I should probably turn my HUD mod back on. But let's go, let's go. What's that? Oh, we already spent 1 minute and 28 seconds. Okay. Well, this terrain is pretty hard to navigate. What is this biome even? It's like barren grassland with some snow on it this is a little easy no this is a little easier to run on and i like the ice too like when crossing water because when you're crossing the ice you can kind of run faster because you slide on it don't think that's how it works in real life but yeah <laughs> how far am i from the station i feel like i wasn't Oh, no, that's not station. Oh, I passed it. I need to go back north. Was there even an entrance to this station? 
I'd be pretty upset if there is no entrance and I'm just running around in circles. Hmm. I should be able to see the entrance because... Oh, there it is. Nice. I know OTS stations probably have entrances. Wow, this is really nice. The wall design. Down here, I guess. All right. Where are we going? Extreme hot. No, not this side. This side, this side Please I think. stand back from the platform Just doors. Just check. Check again. Yeah. Okay. That goes to Northern Snowland Hub, which we can. There's no Airport Express right now, though. Let's see again. So. We go to Northern Snowland Hub. Oh, we need to change eventually to the Furret Line. Okay. So at Northern Snow Village, we're changing to the Furret Line. And I think I will catch the same train as Andy. Unless Andy's not on the train. So this is Northern Snow Village. I will need to change the Furret Line or else I won't be able to get there. Because Northern Snow Village... Yeah, the next one will be spawned directly. So if I don't get on here, and I go to Snowland Hub, I have to backtrack. Okay, so there's a train in 56 seconds to spawn. Alright, we're here already. That's good, that's a good thing. Come on, come on. I hope that platform's not too far away, that I don't have to waste time finding it. Where, where? Down here, down here. On the WLT. Five to spawn. Okay, train's not here yet, but we're gonna make it. Oh. Is Andy gonna be on this train? Andy's not moving on the square map though, so I don't know. Oh, this is the Airport Express coupled to the Tung Chung Line. Oh, Andy is on this train. <laughs> uh oh. And I think the first few cars are gonna drop off that spawn faster. Now it's just literally just a race to the finish line for the two of us. I think I have to use some little tricks to get off the train faster. <laughs> this is so funny in R2C getting on the same train. Oh, look at these beautiful tunnels. I say this every time. To OTS's lines. They're really well designed and well thought out. This train is also a Tokyo line combined with an airport express. And I think it has the ferret line. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. The Tongchung line livery for the airport express section and the ferret line section. How confusing is that? But anyway, this is funny. Yeah, we're doing a train race. Race to sign Alright, this train is, it looks fast, but it goes slower than the Kalos So, I wonder who would get this train to plan my route Interchange station for the so, airport I need to be at the front of the train. From Metropolitan bus, Scarlet Zoo Line, Spons Grand Circular, Wild oh, no. Railway bus services, AT Metro, issue. North Coast Line, oh. and from High Speed Terminal oh, Automatic no. People okay. Mover. Still Passengers may change to the oh. Bateau with Brave nice. Long Day Vitesse, Metro Sudari South Continental Line, Tong Metropolitan Bus, Wilds Railway Bus 
A good thing when you disconnected, you came back on to Sometimes it doesn't do that, it's frustrating, because you are stuck in the tunnel. Okay, come on, come on. We are almost getting to be back spawned. There are a lot of lines, or a lot of trains on the fern line, which is good. Frequent service is good, but it's just a little slow for an express train. Uh-oh, and he disconnected again. Oh, back. Uh-oh, someone's at the high-speed terminal too. Okay, should I jump off the train early? Ooh, lag, 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 lag. No, I shouldn't jump off the train early because there's no way to get through onto the platforms. Andy has Ender Pearls ready, and I do too. <laughs> it's a race to the finish, literally. Oh, here, 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 go! <laughs> No! Okay. Ooh, that was so close. Literally like two seconds behind. Or one second. Yeah. Oh, I was so scared I wouldn't win. But I used the Ender Pearls. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at this. This is MTR Quest. That's new by Epic Puppy. And it's really, really, really cool. Let me show you real quick. I'm gonna go back to... Well, I'll go to adventure mode. So we go into the MTR quest. Look at this lobby. That just looks like an official, like... It looks very... It looks very official in minigame. Welcome to MTR Quest. This is a casual exploration experience for you to explore and enjoy what the server has to offer. Please read through all of these signs and information to learn how to play. This is a quest. It shows info about the quest and how hard it is. You may repeat quests as many times as you like, and you can cancel a quest in the Questers Lounge. Please start this tutorial quest now. Tutorial quest, 5 objectives, difficulty 1 out of 10, and reward 1 QP. I'm not going to press that button yet, because I might dedicate another episode to it. During a quest, you have a series of objectives you have to complete. In this tutorial, we will learn about the different types of objectives and how to complete them. This is a quest point. You need to visit these to continue your quest. The visit objectives require you to visit a station. Please press the button to visit. Okay, so there are parkour challenges as well. Okay, I won't look too much into this because I've saved this for another episode. So here's a control center hall of fame. This was created on the 24th, created by Epic Puppy, nice. All builders. I'm not on this. Okay, doesn't matter. I didn't contribute any locations, but I didn't really have time to play anyway. So all these command blocks. Oh, I see. Epic Puppy centralized all the command blocks into this public room that people can see. That's also a very smart idea. Instead of just hiding them underground, and you have no way to kind of know what's going on. This is very well designed, well engineered. And it's clearly labeled, like, each of these quests. I wonder how they're chunk loaded, though. Questers Lounge. Cancel quests. You can cancel it here. What is this? Difficulty guide. So 1 to 10, rated by these different colors from blue to red and purple. Marketplace. Whoa. Wow, this is like legit a whole system. Claim it. Claim QP. Don't think I have anything to claim. Difficulty guide again. 
Wow, I'm actually really, really impressed. Oh, all the quests are here. Lines Ride Along, Area Tours and Server Tour, and Journeys and Theme Quests. Alright, I definitely need to dedicate an episode or maybe a whole season on this, like completing quests. Or not, maybe not a part of the Let's Play series, but maybe a separate playlist. And then the exit is just here. This gives you levitation, you just shoot up here. Boom. Right there. Some visitors are following me as well. Visitors like to follow me around when I'm recording, which is cool, I guess. <laughs> I have fans. Alright, so we did play run round of R2C and this video is getting really really long so either I'm gonna split it or I'm gonna end this here or both actually. I'll probably split it and end this episode here as well. So thank you so much for watching this episode 10 of season 3 of the Let's Play series even though this is not the finale, this is like a pseudo finale where we took a bunch of lines and visited different places. Thank you so much for watching. Wow, Spawn never fails to amaze me. Anyway, I'm just enjoying this too much. Look at this view and the Spawn Tower. I still haven't claimed an office in there yet. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode because this season is not finished yet. Today we visited some airplane lines, lots of train lines, played some R2C, and we got excited about the new quests. So let me know what you want to see next. Let me know in the comments below. Don't ask how to join the server because I've said many times, just join the Discord. Link is in the description. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.